everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. I'm super excited to be back today because I've taken a few months off from this channel just to replenish my own creativity and I feel like I've been gathering a lot of inspiration and I'm just excited to be back here to be sharing with you all. Today's video topic is going to be about connecting with your own inner guidance. So if you're having trouble finding the answers within and you feel like you always have to reach externally for that, then this therapeutic art activity is perfect for you. I'm gonna guide you through a really simple process where you're gonna connect to your own inner wisdom through art and creativity. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It would mean so much to me. And if you do wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer online sessions and all the information is down below. So what is our inner guide? So inside of us we have the inner critic and our inner guide. I had made a video earlier about our inner critic and how to deal with that. So our inner critic is the voice that tells us that we're not good enough, that we're doing things wrong, it judges us, and it just does not motivate us to do what we truly desire. It really just bogs us down. But on the flip side, we have our inner guide too, and that's a whole different character that tells you that you're loved, that you're supported and motivates you to do what you truly desire. Having these two voices can be really hard because sometimes we don't know who to listen to. Maybe the inner critic is louder, maybe the inner guide is louder, but how do we access the inner guide and how do we really truly know that we all have an inner guide? One way I know for sure is through art and by bringing our inner guide to life, we can easily recognize when it is speaking to us and when it is giving us answers. So why is it so important to connect with our inner guide? Because we have so many decisions to make in our daily life. We have so many paths that we could take and it's hard to know which one is right for us when we have our inner critic and we have the outside society telling us what to do, telling us how to do it. But really, deep down inside, we know. We know how to live our life. We know what we want in life and we know what to do. It's just that the outer voices can overpower our inner guidance sometimes. And so that's why it's important to develop a relationship with your inner guide and to, to set time daily just to listen to that. We all have it. Maybe it's connected to our intuition. Maybe it's connected to our gut. But there's been many situations where we know what to do but yet some other voice kind of takes over and we do the opposite, but we knew deep down that it was the wrong decision. And so developing a clear channel with your inner guide is really important. And so one way to do that, as I said, is through creating art. And so in this therapeutic art exercise, I'm gonna lead you through a meditation that will help you bring to life your inner guide so that it is easier for you to access your inner guide when you need it. For this exercise, you will need a piece of paper and any sort of coloring or drawing materials that you have on hand, like pencil crayons, felt markers, oil pastels, or paint. Before we begin, it's important to take some time to set up your space. You can place your hands on the piece of paper, take a deep breath in, and just begin to tune in. Breathe in deeply, and exhale. Say out loud or silently in your heart, I am open and ready to meet my inner guide. I invite my inner guide into the creative process. I bring them to life through color, lines, and shape. Create quiet space and spend a few minutes asking your inner guide to come forward. Feel their presence, tune into their energy and see them with your mind's eye. Bring them to life with your art materials. What does your inner guide look like? What colors did you see? What surrounded them? What shape resonated with the feeling? Start to draw out on your piece of paper the energy of your inner guide. Let the image flow out of you and don't be discouraged about what it looks like. 
focus on the feeling. Trust that whatever is appearing on your paper is there for a reason. Trust that they are guiding your hand. Just let it come out in any way that it wants to. After you're finished, take some time to meet your inner guide. Feel its energy and take it all in. Now, bring out your journal and start to ask your inner guide these questions. What is your name? Why did you come here? What are you here to tell me? So this is my inner guide. Her name is Venus Rising. And I have no idea why that name came through, but I just trusted it and I wrote it down and it feels very fitting for her. She reminds me to keep rising and to keep getting up every time I fall. She feels very powerful. I feel like she's rising up from the earth, from the water into the air, and just she has these huge wings that feel very, very powerful. And she has this long black hair that is connected to the earth, and she's just very feminine, strong, and soft and powerful. I've heard her voice many times in my life. I've heard her voice when I've been called to leave a relationship or a job or to speak up for myself. She's the one that nudges me to really own my power and step into myself. She is not afraid, she is courageous, she is fearless and she will destroy anything that kind of crosses her path. It was really beautiful to see her come to life through the colors, through the creative process, because as I said, I've heard her voice before, I know. And she's just one of my many inner guides. You know, we have so many. We have a whole collection of inner guides with us, and it's important to get to know them all. And so you can do this exercise again to reveal all the different casts of characters that protect you every day, that surround you every day, and that give you the guidance that you need to know. So I really hope you enjoyed this exercise. I really hope you connected to one of your inner guides. And if you want to share with me, I would absolutely love to see your process and meet your inner guide. So you can always email me or tag me on Instagram. And I am just so excited to be back, as I said, to be back on here sharing my love for art therapy and painting and so thank you for being here i'm sending you all the love and creativity and i'll see you